everybody! My name is Emily and I am the Youth Librarian at the Scott County Library in Eldridge. You may also recognize me as Little Red Riding Hood and that super silly video that you just watched. Usually I get to visit you in May to talk all about the summer reading program. So I want to give a special thank you to your teachers for sending you this video and to you guys for tuning in. Hopefully I get to see all of you in person again soon. Every year our summer reading theme changes and you can probably guess from that video that this year it's all about fairy tales, magical creatures like dragons and mermaids and unicorns, myths and legends, and even your own story, your past, present, and future. So you might wonder things like, what were my grandparents like when they were my age? Or what am I going to be when I grow up? You get to explore all of that this summer at the library. Summer reading isn't just about reading this summer. You get to choose your own adventure. You can use a reading log that looks like this. Or you can participate online and there will be another video with instructions on, on how to do that. But you can choose all kinds of activities and even come up with your own activities. You might choose to read for 30 minutes or to build a fort and read inside of it. Or you might want to discover, explore, and connect with things in your community. You can go for a walk in your neighborhood and try and find the nearest little free library. You can attend a virtual tour of a museum or zoo. You can write a letter to a friend and send it to them. All of those things will count for your summer challenge this year. You guys always want to know about the prizes, and don't worry, we do have prizes this year. Once you get to level two, you get to pick out a book that is yours to keep, and I promise I have a bunch of amazing books. There's bound to be at least one that you like. You'll also get the chance to win gift cards to places like Whitey's and Hungry Hobo, Amazon Target, all kinds of fun places. They'll be $5 or $15 or $50. Plus, when you attend our virtual events, you also have the chance to win things like stuffed animals and Lego sets, a lot of fun stuff, trust me. I wanted to show you a few of the things that you could check out this year before we talk about our fun summer events. So if you love picture books, I have some really fun ones like this. Do not bring your dragon to recess. There's another book called Do Not Bring Your Dragon to the Library, which I don't know, I kind of like to see a dragon here. Here's another fun one called The Prince and the Witch and the Thief and the Bears. All about a bedtime story that goes wildly out of control. Do any of you love unicorns or any acorns? This is an octacorn and the book is called Octacorn Party. We also have some readers, like if you love Elephant and Piggy, Elephant and Piggy have a different series where you can see them up there in the corner. They show up at the start of these books, but then it's a story about brand new characters. And this one is called What About Worms? And it's about a tiger who is big and brave and he's not afraid of anything except worms. It's pretty silly. We also have graphic novels like The Babysitter's Little Sisters book, Karen's Witch. Things like Big Nate, I've seen these before. Bots, the most annoying robots in the universe. This is actually in black and white. And we have a ton of chapter books too. There's this new series called Disney Before the Story and this one is all about Mulan. There's also books about the characters from Frozen, Anna and Elsa. If you like mythology, there's a series called Little Goddess Girls. It's This one's about Aphrodite and the Gold Apple. It's book number three, but I do have all of them that are out. It's kind of a level it is. If you love dragons, there's the Dragon Master series. This is the latest book in the series, book number 15. So if you love fantasies, this will be a great one for you. 
it's a chapter book, but it does still have illustrations throughout. There's also these Quicks reads, Fast Fun Reads. This one is a series called Royal Sweets. This is great if you're just starting to read chapter books. About five to eight years old. Unicorns, we've got the Unicorn Academy, a whole series. Can you imagine if your best friend was a unicorn? There's a new series, kind of like I Survived, called Girls Survive. And all of the main characters in this series are girls. That's something that's kind of missing in the I Survived series. Most of those characters are boys. So this is one, is one I'm really excited about. This one's called Emmy in the City, and it's about the Great Chicago Fire. There's one about the San Francisco Earthquake and the Oregon Trail and a whole bunch of others too. And I bought all of them, so you can check all of them out. There's other series too, like this one's called Once Upon a Fairy Tale, and it's about Snow White needing some help because there's a missing dwarf. This one also has illustrations throughout too. These are just a few of the great books you can check out and you can always ask us for help and we'll help you find the perfect book for you. So stay tuned and I will tell you about some great virtual events this summer. Even though the library and how you use it might look a little different this summer, we still have a ton of events for you to come to, either virtually or a few that will be in person outside at our Eldridge branch. The very first thing that we have is our summer reading parade, which will be Tuesday, June 9th, and will be led by the Bookmobile. It'll go through a special route in Eldridge, and we'll have some other special library guests too. So check back soon for the route details. You can um, stand along the route with posters and signs cheering us on, and it'll be a great way to kick off our summer. We also have Chalk Our Walk. The library has a lot of sidewalk space and we want to decorate it so it looks amazing for summer. If you don't have your own chalk, that's fine. We'll provide some for you or you can bring your own and we'll assign you a sidewalk space so you can make some amazing chalk drawings. We're also going to have parties on Facebook Live. They'll have grab and go activity and craft kits that you can pick up from the library. And then when you're at home, you can tune in and see how to do the crafts, take part in fun activities as a group on things like pirates and mermaids and dragons and superheroes and unicorns and Star Wars, all kinds of awesome things. We'll also have look and finds, those scavenger hunts that I have up in the library usually, that'll be posted outside in our reading garden. So you can still have a fun um, time exploring and hunting for those pictures. We'll have story walks up in the reading garden too. We'll take the pages of picture books um, and have them along a path that you can walk through. Every week there will be a Lego challenge. You, the challenge will be posted on Facebook and you can either post a picture of your creation in the comments there or email it to us and you will be entered into a weekly drawing for a super cool Lego prize. We are going to have a tie-dye party too. It'll be outside in our reading garden and you will have to register for it. You bring what you want to dye and we'll have everything else ready for you. So that's Imagine Your Story at the Library. It runs through June, from June 8th through July 31st, and you can actually register for it today. If you need any help, you can make sure to email scottcountysrp at gmail.com and we will help you get signed up or answer any questions you might have. Remember that this is for kids, teens, and adults. People of all ages can participate. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope I get to see you soon. Bye.